guys. Hola. Hi, teacher. Hi, How are you? Hi. 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 Good night. All right. Solo van a tener paciencia. Tengo una dificultad con cámara. I don't know how to turn it on right now. Just give me a second, okay? Pero aquí estoy yo ya. Okay. Hello, hello, I'm here. <laughs> I fixed it. Hello, teacher. Hi, how is everybody? Hello, teacher. Hi. All right. Hey, teacher. Hi, Johnny. Hello, good evening. You have a new background. Yes, it's actually, it's not new, but I always use the white one. <laughs> oh, okay. And now I'm using the uh, blue one. Oh, okay. Upside down. That's okay. I'll fix it later. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So let's see. I have uh, Daniel, Domingo, Doris. All right. Johnny. Hi, Bismar, Ever, Roberto. Hello. Debbie. Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Good evening. Hi, Carlita. Nice to see you again, Carla. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Thank you, Trini, Vicky, Vane. Gaby, Jorge, Manuel, and Mariano. Excellent. Very good, guys. Okay. So, how's everybody? Roberto, cuéntenos, how was your day today, Roberto? Hello, teacher. Well, it was very, very busy and very stressful in the traffic oh. in the morning at, at in the in the, in the afternoon too. Oh no, Roberto, sabe que eso es de las cosas que no extraño. <laughs> All right, traffic <laughs> is terrible. I don't miss it. Okay, Roberto, very nice. Okay, let's see. What about uh, Bismar? How was your day today? Hello, teacher. Um, Hi. I stay uh, now in, in my house and um, make a home office and I can go to my 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 office. Oh, all right. Do you like home office, Miss Mar, or you don't really like it? Home office, teacher. Do you like it? Do you like home office? Correct. You like it? Yes, home office. Okay. All right. Okay. But okay, that's fine. All right. Very nice. Let's see. What about Gabby? Gabby, how was your day today, Gabby? Uh, hi, good evening. It was really good. I had a practice today at the university, so it was really good. And now I'm home and just taking some time for myself. Okay, that's good. That's important, Gabby. That's very necessary. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, Ever, what about your day, Ever? How was your day? Good evening, everyone. Hi, how was your day today? Yes, I spoke with the traffic too. All the time, yes, uh, very, very hurried too. A, a okay. lot. Okay. But 
I'm happy to be here too, ready to, 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 this, to, to this class. Very good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Doris, how was your day today, Doris? It was good. I have to visit uh, some beauty salon. Okay. And yes, and I I I I sell. Oh. I sell. Yes. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was a good day. All right. I'm glad to hear it was a good day. All right. Nothing like a good day. Very good, guys. All right. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about restaurants. We were talking a little bit about um, why restaurants are appealing to us. Yesterday, we said that it's appealing because of the food, because of the service, because of the price. All right, so that's, that's why some restaurants are appealing. All right, so that was something that we talked about yesterday. Today, we're going to continue with the same topic, but we're going to study or review comparative adjectives. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. Igual voy a tomar attendance en un ratito porque no está la mayoría. All right, but we're going to continue with that later. All right, so let's see. Antes de, de, de seguir o de presentarles yo something to do with comparative adjectives, alguien me ayuda. A ver, a mí se me olvidó. No sé cómo son los comparative adjectives. I need help. ¿Quién me ayuda con los comparative adjectives? How do we explain that? Can me ayuda explicando what are what are comparative adjectives? Nadie? No um when I I compare things. Yes, when you compare things, okay, we use comparative adjectives, right? Okay, but how do we use them? ¿Cómo los usamos? What is the structure? Um, I, I add ER uh -huh. or EST. Ah, but that's a superlative. Oh, cute. Uh -huh. Very good. Anything else? I think uh, when the Sentences have more the syllables uh, to, uh -huh. to use more than uh, the sentence. Okay. Ah, all right. Okay. I see. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's see. Vamos a hacer acá. Voy a compartir con ustedes el manual. All right, now, this is what we stopped doing yesterday. Today, we're going to continue with this, how to use comparative adjectives. A ver, volunteers to help me read this, please. Can you ayuda? Solo uno. Oye, andan callados, this is you say. Huh? It is teacher. It is teacher. Yes, Vane, después vamos, vamos a Johnny, thank you. Yes, Vane. Use the comparative form of adjectives to compare to people, things, or animals. Delivery service is better than takeout. All right, thank you. All right, so we use the comparative form of adjectives to compare to people, to things, or to animals, all right? To cities, to places, to machines, to cars, whatever you want, all right. For example, delivery service is better than takeout. Why? Because they take it to your house. Okay, thank you. Johnny, please continue with the first part of the chart. This one right here, John. Okay. When the adjective has one or two syllab syllables. Syllables, yes. Make the comparative by adding ER to the end of the adjective. Then use done after the adjective. Thank you, Johnny, that was very nice. Okay, so this is similar to whatever was telling us, all right? When the adjective has one or two syllables, make the com we make the comparative by adding ER, all right? 
to the end of the adjective. Then we use then after the adjective, okay? It's important to remember or to remind you that in English, syllables are different than in Spanish. In English, the syllables are sounds, not the way we write them. In Spanish, the syllables are consonant, vowel, all right? O tenemos consonant, vowel, consonant, o las invertidas, all right? But in English, it's by sound, not by writing, okay? Usted puede ver una palabra eh, más larga o más corta, pero es por sonido las sílabas, not how to write them. That's different, okay? Excellent. Alguien más? Another volunteer to read the second part. Me. Yes, thank you. You can read it. The buffet restaurant on the corners is cheaper than the one on the main street. The, waiter, the waiters at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Café. All right, thank you. Yes, very good. Okay, so the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. The waiters at the French Toast are faster than the waiters at the Bone Cafe. Excellent. All right, very good. Uh, someone else to read the other part, please, of the chart. Acuérdense que es importante que ustedes participen in everything. Uh huh. Me teacher. Thank you, Daniel. When the adjective has more than two syllables, use more before the adjective and then after after it. Ah, very good, Daniel. Thank you. When the adjective has more than two syllables, use more before the adjective and then after it. It doesn't matter, guys, if your adjective is one, two, or three, or four syllables. Whenever you compare, when you use comparative adjectives, we always need to use the word than. All right. For example, I can say, I am happier than my brother, for example. Or I can say, she is more beautiful than uh, the Hollywood actress, okay? It doesn't matter if your adjective is short, is medium, or is long. The word than, you're always going to use it, okay? I cannot say, for example, um, Pizza Hut is um, cheaper Papa Joe's. ¿Qué me faltó ahí? I don't know, Mariano. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. It's done. Pizza Hut. Uh, more. Yes. So Pizza Hut is cheaper, cheaper than Papa John's. Papa John's. All right. Si yo digo, cheaper sería un adjective chiquito, por decir algo, pero si yo digo, difficult, all right? I can say, Spanish is more difficult English. Is that okay? Yes. No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 No is more difficult than English, all right? Entonces, quiere decir que si yo, no importa el tamaño del adjetivo, una sílaba, dos sílabas, tres sílabas, cuatro sílabas, eso no importa. En la palabra done, it's always necessary, all right? Si usted no la incluye, no está comparando, all right? O no está comparando bien del todo. Okay, mantenga eso en mente. I'm going to take the first attendance. A ver, Adela Trinidad González Consuega. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Okay, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. 
Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yes, Claudia, gracias. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Thank you. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda Maria Lopez Lobo. Ah, uh, Brenda. All right. Ana Yamilet Dominguez Palacios. Cesar Augusto Cañengues Vázquez. Nelson Alfredo Alas Orantes. Sandra Mariela Inglés Rivera. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Hi Vicky. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Thank you, Joanna. All right, very good, guys. So let's continue here. I don't know if you have any questions so far about what I was telling you. Entendemos hasta ahorita ese uso del adjective, el comparative adjective. Yes? Yes, yes, all right, okay, very good. So let's yes. Yeah, thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. So let's continue here then. All right. Oh. All right. Alguien que me lea this part. All restaurants. Continue por ahí. Estoy en clase. Me too, sure. Yes, Maria. Yeah, All restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Mm -hmm. Specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Excellent, Mariano. Thank you. All right. So all restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants, all right? Or specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu, all right? So don't forget to use than in any, I mean, in any way that you're comparing these two places or these two people. Let's work on this right now. Number six, a ver, Julio, can you please read the instructions for number six? Okay, complete the assignment using the corporative uh -huh. form of the adjective in parentheses. Very good, Julio. Thank you. Complete the statements using the comparative form Reverse. of the adjective in parentheses. All right, parentheses son los, los brackets que están ahí o los parentheses. All right. ¿Lo van a hacer individual? ¿Ya tienen todo su manual? ¿Lograron descargar el manual? Yes, no? Ya, yeah, teacher. No. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Julio, ¿le dieron acceso al final o ahora, Julio? Sí, pero no logré entrar porque yo venía en camino cuando me avisaron que ya podía revisar. Ok. Así All que. Right. Así que no me quedó tiempo de revisar, pero dicen que sí. Ah, okay, Falta okay. revisar. Ok, si gusta en algún momento de la clase, revisa y me, me, me tiene al tanto, oye. Ok, lo All aviso. Right. Ok, very good. Entonces, comparto aquí pantalla, all right, para que lo puedan trabajar. Les doy tres minutitos. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, are we finished? Yes. Yes, no? teacher. Excellent. Yes. Good. Everybody else, Doris finished. Domingo, yes. Wanda, Victoria. All right. Yes. Amy, Bismarck finished. Debbie, Carlos, Jorge, Ever, Carlita finished. Finished, teacher. Excellent. Finished. Got it, All right, let's, let's speak in checking. A ver, Domingo, yo sé que la primera ya está hecha, pero léala, por favor. Deliver. Domingo Alexander, can you read number one? Excuse me. Uh, delivery is more convenient to type up. Ah, delivery is more convenient. A convenient, okay. Take out. That. Very good, Domingo. Thank you. All right, let's see. What about Manuel? Manuel, can you do number two? Okay. Okay. Their beverage are more cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Manuel, seguro que sería more cheaper? ¿Cuántas sílabas tiene cheap? Dos, two. No. Two syllable. No, Manuel. Acuérdese que es, son, es por sonido. En inglés las sílabas son por sonido. Y es una sola oh. palabra, cheap. It's only one. All right? It's only one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Entonces, oh. ¿cómo quedaría? Chita. That. Cheaper. Yes, cheaper than. All right? Cheaper than. Oh. Yes. Their beverages are cheaper than the ones from Starbucks, okay? Yes, very good, thank you. A ver, number three. Um, Teacher. Yes, dígame. Hey, how do you pronounce bever, bever, what? Beverage. Bever. <laughs> Slowly, bever? Beverage is one of them, Doris. Beverage. Beverage. Beverages. Beverage. Beverage. Sí, Thank bien. you. Beverages. Yes, very good, Doris. Excellent. A ver, do, uh, Debbie, number three. Teacher. Ah, dígame, dígame. The question. Uh, um, o sea que cuando agregamos er, the one, two syllables in the sentence, in the Sí, sí, cuando, uh -huh. cuando sea una palabra con solo una sílaba, solo le agregamos er, siempre la palabra para completar. Por lo general, de hecho la mayoría, voy a decir así, la mayoría le agregamos er porque van de una a dos sílabas. Son menos uh -huh. frecuentes, por ponerlo así, los más largos. Y solo a ellos les ponemos more. All right? De hecho, uh -huh. es bien frecuente escuchar que des, algunos de nosotros decimos more easy. All right, eso está malo, ¿verdad? Porque easy, easy. son dos sílabos. Easy. Okay. All right, entonces decimos easier. All right, no decimos mm. more easy. Lo que pasa es que como en español decimos más fácil, así lo traducimos, ¿verdad? More easy, mm -hmm. pero no, es easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. No, it, it, it's, it's, Always when when uh, are we use the comparative yeah. is more, compa uh, more more easier <laughs> more cheaper. Uh -huh. <laughs> Example, Manuel. Yes, very good. Okay, a ver, Debbie. Hoy sí, Debbie. Number three. Luego va Carlita with number four. Uh, French restaurant. <laughs> French restaurants are more uh, romantic than fast food restaurants. Yes, very good. French restaurants are more romantic, very good, than fast food restaurants. Thank you. All right, Carlita, number four. Luego va Trini with five. Cher, como yo no estuve en la clase ayer, aún todavía lo estoy, la estoy asimilando el. Pero no se preocupe, Carlita, ayer no lo vi. <laughs> bueno, ah, ok. Tranquila, tranquila. A ver, le vamos a ver. Okay. A ver. Uh, 
buffet. The buffet, the buffet at Nick Les restaurant is is com complete more. Uh -huh. It complete more than chance. Than chance. Okay, in this case, Carlita, and for the rest, the buffet at Mingli's restaurant is more complete. All right, mm -hmm. no decimos is completer than, no, it's more complete. El more Carlita va antes, oye. More complete. Okay. Yes, more complete. Very good. Trini, can you do number five? Their service is more faster than the restaurants we went to last week. Segura, Trini. Mira cuántas sílabas tiene fast. Faster. Faster. Ajá, faster sería el comparativo porque solo tiene una sílaba, fast. All right, entonces no decimos more, faster. Solo decimos faster. Okay. Ah, sin humor. Ajá, sin humor, humor, porque es como que estuviéramos recomparando. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya, yeah. all right. Entonces, el, el más para nosotros se vuelve el air para ellos, ¿verdad? Faster. So we say the service is faster than the restaurant we went to last week. Ok. Very nice. Thank you, Trini. Let's see. Number six. All right. Let me see. Vamos a ver. No sé si Joana, can you do number six, Joana? Yes, the, uh, the ambience in Javions. Are more appealing than the food they sell. Okay. All right, ¿todos tienen igual la número 6? No. Ok. Yes. yes, tell me. No. ¿Cómo la tiene? Diamio se Apelia. Es. Apelia. Mm, ¿Cuántas sílabas tiene? Two. No. For me, how three? Yes, three. it has three. 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 Appealing. Exactly. Appealing. It's more appealing than the food they sell. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Very nice. More appealing. A ver, si eso hubiera sido examen, ¿quién sacó 6 de 6? O sea, 10. Me. Me. Very good. Me, me. Excellent. Very good. All right, 5 de 6. Me. Me. Excellent. Very nice. Ok. All right. Ok, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. All right, guys. Entonces, just reviewing everything else. All right. Remember, when you have an adjective, you need to check the syllables. No es por escritura, es por sonido. All right. Yes. Acuérdese, imagínese fast. Es una sola sílaba. Usted no dice fast. All right. Dice fast. It's one syllable. Yeah. All right. Yes, Mariano. But in in the phrase complete is for me two syllables yes it is two syllables pero sabe que ahí digamos que va a haber un truco mariano ahorita le explico <laughs> all right all right por lo general la regla bueno si ustedes se fijaron la regla decía de una o dos sílabas le ponemos e e e y de dos o más le ponemos more al adjetivo, all right, pero hay adjetivos que por más que usted quiera decir, mire, pero solo son dos sílabas, como complete, usted dice complete, ¿verdad? Solo son dos, no podemos decir completer, all right, 
no sé si hay una clave, Mariano, pero ya le suena raro. Sí, sí. Ya, yeah, no sé, cumplir. Es como handsome. All right. No decimos more handsome. Y si usted se fija, handsome es larga, pero realmente solo tiene dos sílabas. Handsome. All right. Entonces, es decir, entonces decimos handsomer. Pero si usted lo dice, se oye feo. All right. Entonces dice, I am handsomer than my brother. Se oye raro, Mariana. Entonces, ah, no, le voy a poner mejor el more. I am more handsome than my brother. All right, porque ya se está haciendo hasta más largo. Ya es largo el handsome. Y si le agrego él, se vuelve más largo todavía. Yes? yes. All right, very good. Ok. So. Sé que si pasa de dos centímetros, mejor more. <laughs> pues no sé si hay que medirlo, pero sí, we have to pay attention to that. All right, yeah, that's very important. A ver, solo déjeme, deme un segundo. Para dejarles eh, la primera actividad que quiero hacer. All right. Dentro, antes que se me olvide, dentro de los adjectives tenemos los irregular adjectives. ¿Cuáles son los irregular adjectives? ¿Qué me ayuda con los irregular adjectives? Oh, no, the past. No, esos es, no son verbos, Johnny. Yo sé que yo lo traumé con los verbos. <risa> <risa> Pero estos son adjetivos irregulares. ¿Cuáles son? Los que no cambian. De hecho, cambian porque cambian, cambian totalmente, Debbie. Eh, por eso se le llaman irregulares. ¿Cuáles serían? Regálenme uno. Eh, good, better. Oh, yes. Usted no dice, she is gooder than, than me, ¿verdad? Gooder no existe. ¿Y cómo digo en lugar de good para comparar qué digo? Better. Better. All right. Better. Better than me. All right. A ver, ¿otro? Bad. Bad. Yes. ¿Cuál es el comparative adjective? Better. Worse. Better. Worse. Worse. W-O-R-S-E. Worse. Worse. Okay. Digamos que esos son como los más comunes. Hay un par más, far further, ¿verdad? Pero bad and, and good, no podemos decir I'm gooder or he's better, ¿verdad? Eso no existe. O sea, me dice, teacher, pero es una sílaba, sí, pero es irregular. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir yeah. eso? Que cambia totalmente. All right, yes. Ok, vamos a ver aquí. A Alright, guys, I just want to check this one. Ahorita voy ya con la actividad. A ver, escríbame ahí. Um, famous. Usted escriba lo que yo le voy a decir. Famous. Alright. Famous. Ahorita no me haga nada, solo escribe el adjetivo. Famous. Careful. Heavy. Quiet. Do you know how to spell quiet? Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. ¿Cuánto llevamos? Cuatro. Yes. All right. El yes, four. Fascinating. Fascinating. Mm, let's see. One more. Let's do... All right, let's do. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, costly. Costly. The cost, the costo. Costly. Cost y luego al L Y. Agreguele L y Y al final. Costly. ¿Cuántos nos salieron? 
six. Teacher, six. can you re can you repeat the number two, please? I don't remember. <laughs> Daniel, I can't write it. Careful. Ah, careful. Car yes, thank you. Careful. <laughs> careful. Cuidado. Careful. Uh -huh. Cuando no salieron. Okay, thank you. We have six. six. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Entonces, what are we going to do? Nos vamos a ir a los grupos. Con esos seis, ustedes me van a armar oraciones, all right? Tratando, de lo, en la medida de lo posible, de hacerlo en el contexto restaurante. Si no puede ser, si de verdad no le encuentra, hágalo en cualquier contexto comparando dos cosas, all right? Ahora, como grupo se va a decidir, bueno, le vamos a agregar ER o le, voy a, le vamos a agregar MORE. All right, y construyamos oraciones. The idea, no me vaya a salir, voy a poner un ejemplo, no me vayan a poner una oración como this restaurant is bigger than the other restaurant. All right. Tratemos de hacer oraciones ya de intermedio uno que son un poquito más elaboradas, ¿verdad? Que no me va a decir she is more beautiful than you. No, esas son muy fáciles. All right. Think about sentences, more complete sentences now. All right. Hi, Linda, ya la vi por allí. Thank you for being in class. All right, entonces, nos vamos a los grupos. Ustedes arman sus oraciones, traten de hacerlo con texto restaurant. Si de verdad no les puede, no les, se les ocurre, por decirlo así, una oración basado en contexto restaurante, pueden comparar con lo que sea. Trabajamos en grupo. Los mando ahorita a sus grupos. All right. Ah, permítame. Okay, guys, let's go.
And Vanessa. Sorry, cuando son de más. Hi, teacher. Hi, Manuel. Hi. ¿Qué le pasó, Vicky? Eh, teacher, what is number one the, the, the... the adjective? Yes. Espérenme, espérenme, espérenme. Creo que era famous, fíjese. What? What? Famous. Famous, ok. Famous, the famo famoso, famous. <laughs> yes, Manuel. Ok, thank you. Yes. Solo se le faltaba. Yeah, yes, and... Ah, perdón. No, it's the the number three. I I confuse with me. It's the payment. No, that's not an adjective. What is number three, Joanna or Vicky? No, teacher, no los tengo. Ahorita estoy esperando que los diga para anotarlos. Vaya, ya voy a regresar porque yo no los anoté, solo los dije, pero ya, ya regreso y les digo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Vamos a ver si los conseguimos por otro lado. Vamos a escribirle ahorita a alguien, esperen. Hola. Ay, se me... Ah, hey, dan, dan. Ay, cómo se me ha olvidado. ¿Cómo se dice comida rápida en inglés? Dan, uh, fast food. Fast, fast food. Fast food. Waiters. The waiters of fans, the waiters of the fancy restaurant are more careful that are more no careful teacher. than than. Careful. El objetivo careful teacher. Los cinco, los seis necesito. Regálenme Ah, okay. Famous, careful, heavy, quiet, fascinating, costly. Famous, careful, heavy. Quiet, huh? fascinating, fascinating, and costly. And costly. Yes. yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. The waiters of fancy restaurants are more careful than fast food waiters. Ahí está la teacher ya de nuevo. <risas> Número uno era famous. Número dos era careful. Pero, 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 teacher, teacher, teacher. Careful. Número uno. Famous. Ahorita se los escribo aquí en el chat. Famous. Careful era el segundo. Ahorita voy. Careful. Ahí está en el chat. Ah, famous. El otro era heavy. Heavy. Heavy, el otro era quiet. Quiet. Uh, fussy, fascinating. Y costly. Ahí está. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> teacher, ya vi por qué no me salía la tarea. Ah, ¿qué era? Vicky, que disculpe, que de verdad que hoy no he parado. <risa> no, y no es lo que vimos al principio, pues. Ah, bueno. <risa> yeah, more, yeah, more and that se le agregaba. Ah, pues sí. Y como no lo habíamos visto, por eso yo le ponía de una forma y otra y no me salí. Ah, ok. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.
Did you finish, guys? Yes. All right. They were finished. No teacher. Oh no! How many did you do? No. Only two. You did only two. Only two with my partner. Yes. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Don't we worry. can we can do we can do only with the the quiet. Okay. Teacher, we need more time. <laughs> All right. See, how many did you do, Manuel? I mean, Daniel. Manuel. Sorry. Uh, Nos quedamos en el último quiet. Nos faltó fascinating and costly. Oh, all right. Okay. A mí, and, no, nos faltaron los últimos cinco a nosotros. Ya. Yeah. Ah, no, ever, porque dijeron dos. No, no, es que, teacher, repeat the, the, first, the first word, please. I can't can hear you. Fascinating. Sorry. Fascinating. Fascinator. This is the field. Okay. Okay. Fascinating. Okay. Fascinating. ENG. The last. The last surgery. Okay. All right. Guys. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're very welcome. Voy a tomar asistencia y luego vemos las oraciones. All right. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Thank you, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlos, por ahí lo vi. Me lo imaginé. All right, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie uh, Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Let Present. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe García de Mil. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Leticia. Eh, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Eh, Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Right. Vicky Dinora <coughs> Gutiérrez de Durán. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Vicky. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Present teacher. Brenda Maria Lopez Lobo. Ana Yamilet Domínguez Palacios. César Augusto Cañengues Vázquez. Nelson Alfredo Alas Orantes. Sandra Mariela Inglés Rivera. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Romeo Alex, Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Thank you, Joanna. All right, guys, very good. All right, so the first adjective was famous. Voy a ver, vamos a ver en el primer grupo. Teníamos a Debbie and Bismar. Can you tell us the sentence with famous? Ya sea eh, Debbie or Bismar. Tell us your sentence, please. Um, in my city are a lot of restaurants, but the David's restaurant is more famous than all. 
All right. Como estamos comparando, o sea, ya no estamos comparando solo con otro, sino que estamos diciendo que es el más famoso de todos. Entonces, en ese caso, creo que podríamos usar mejor un superlativo más que un comparativo. Debian. Okay. All right. Ahora, está redactada y está súper bien. All right. But I think we can use more the uh, superlative more than the comparative. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Let's see. Uh, sala number two, Daniel, Doris, and Johnny. Uh -huh. Careful. And we say the waiters of, uh, careful. Careful, careful. Uh, yes, the waiters of the the waiters of the fancy restaurant are more careful than the fast food waiters. Oh, I like that one. Very good, Doris. Thank you, Doris and Daniel and Johnny. Very good. Sala tres, Claudia, Leticia, and Walter. All right, with the adjective heavy. Claudia, Leti, and Walter, no? Claudita, yo sé que ahorita no puede, pero no sé si los otros chicos, Claudia, I mean, Leti, and Walter. Eh, yesterday, have a heavy words that today. Tell me again, Leticia. Yesterday, have, uh, have a heavy words that today. ¿Cómo sería el comparativo de heavy? Heaviest. Ese sería superlativo. El comparativo sería heavier, ¿verdad? Heavier. Oh, yesterday has a more heavy, more worse than today. Ahora. I'm not sure that. Ya, yeah, no se preocupe, Leti. Um, a ver, no podemos poner more heavy, sino que nos tendría que quedar heavier, heavier. than. Ok. Ok. All right, very good. Let's see. Uh, sala 4, Ever, Jorge, and Julio. It was quiet. No sé si lograron usar esa. Yes, yes teacher. All right, tell me the sentence. Ok. Ok. Restaurant work environment is more quiet than other works. Tell me again, Evan. Restaurant work environment is more quiet than other works. Okay, a ver, Ever and Julio. Decimos more quiet or decimos quieter? Most quieter. More quieter. No, more, more quiet. More, more quiet. quiet than. More quiet. Ah, all right. A ver, los demás que dicen, decimos more quiet o solo quieter. Con Teacher. Quieter. Solo quieter. Teacher. Dígame, Johnny. I read in a discussion <laughs> forum uh -huh. for this word. Sí. And, and half, the half of the person says quiet and the other half said more quiet more, more quiet okay uh -huh. all right quiet. all right in this i believe johnny that on this one johnny ever and julio of course on and jorge on on this um quiet the adjective or the comparative adjective is quieter er we don't say more quiet we say quieter for example, you can say the library is quieter than um, the living room, all right, or the cinema, all right? So we use it with ER, more than more quiet. A veces, eso es lo que a veces dificulta, por decirlo así, encontramos um, esas discusiones, ¿verdad? De repente es more quiet or quieter, handsome or more handsome, handsomer or more handsome. Hay teorías que le van a aceptar ambas. Es como el verbo learn. 
aprender. Una se la van a decir que es un verbo regular, que termina con ed, y otra se lo va a tirar como verbo irregular y le pongo t al final. All right, entonces podemos como, eh, we could use it in both ways. But in this case, Ever, Julio, and Jorge, I would go more with quieter, er, okay? Okay. All right. Nos confundimos porque como es Q, A, I, A, entonces dimos A, T, B. Se oye rato con el R final. All right, yeah, but you say quieter. Yes, very good. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, Johnny. Okay. Then, in the case of famous, famouser. No. This is more famous. Two syllables. Uh-huh. For me. Yeah, two syllables, de hecho. More uh, careful. Famous. More careful. Ah, carefuler. No, because two syllables. Sí, lo que pasa es que acuérdese, Johnny, que siempre, eh, digamos, lo vamos a poner así para facilitar. Siempre que sea una sílaba, ahí no nos perdemos. Ese es e -R. All right. Cuando ya sean de dos, hay un, hay un debate en su mente y usted dígalo y el que le suene más bonito. <laughs> Johnny, you're going to choose that one. All right. No decimos mo, uh, famous. Uh, he, she is famous. Es que ni se puede ni pronunciar, Johnny. All right. Entonces decimos more famous. All right. El otro, careful, carefuler. Uh, no, she's more careful than him. More careful. A pesar que solo son dos sílabas. Entonces los dos sílabos nos debatimos por ahí. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sala five, we have Joanna, Manuel, and Vicky. Um, fascinating, no sé si tienen esa. Okay, the Volcano's restaurant is more fascinating than the Pizza Hut. It's more fascinating, yes, fascinating. Yes. En esa no hay duda, ¿verdad? No podemos poner fascinating her. All right, no, this is no. <laughs> It's three syllables. <laughs> yes, no All right, very good. Um, let's see. Um, grupo number six, we have Roberto and Domingo Alexander with a costly. Uh, no teacher, no, uh, we don't have chance to ah, do that. Can you finish that one? Okay. No. That's okay. Uh, that's okay, Roberto. That's fine. That's okay. A ver, any other group that finished the sentence with cost, uh, costly? The... Yes, okay. my Yes, of course. Tell me. Okay. The Tecleña's restaurant is, is costlier than the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, very good. I like that one. Very good, Manuel. Yes, costlier. Costlier. All right. E I E R. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Very good. No sé, de los grupos que me faltaron, que era el grupo siete, Trini, Carla, and Mariano, and group eight, Linda, Maria, and Victoria. Eh, no sé si quieren compartir cualquiera de las oraciones que ustedes escribieron, solo para revisarse. Trini, Carlita, and Mariano. Eh, me dice. Okay, Mariano. I'm not sure, but. In El Salvador, uh, Mexican food is more famous than Arabian food because the flavor is more familiar. Oh, it's more familiar. And you're using two adjectives, compressive adjectives in one sentence. Yeah, I like that one, Mariano. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. And group number eight, Linda, um, Gabi, and Vicky. Victoria, do you want to tell us one of your sentences? Um, sure. Um, the environment at La Pampa is more quiet than, the, than El Portal. But the decoration at El Portal is more fascinating than, the, than La Pampa. Ah, all right. A ver, ahí teníamos otra vez more quiet or quieter, all right? Uh, quieter, I'm sorry. Quiet. Yes, yeah. very good. Okay, y luego, yeah, very nice. Nice sentence, actually. Oh, yeah. Well done, guys. Thank you. All right. Oh, my goodness, it's raining by my house. No está lloviendo por donde ustedes, no. No, it's not raining, yes? In some yes, house? in the world, yes, yes it's, it's raining. raining. Oh my goodness, I mean, it's only In Cancan, we are no picture. Oh, okay. And in La Palma, Vicky, it's not raining? 
No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. Santa Ana, yes. It's raining, Julio. Yes, in Tixistepeque. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Bueno, esperemos que no nos dé problema con esto de la Inter. All right. A ver. Vamos a hacer una última práctica. All right. Sobre los comparatives. Y luego seguimos con la página 11. And we're going to talk about conjunctions. All right. So let's go right now. I'm going to share with you this. All right. De hecho, se los voy a proyectar ahorita. All right. Can you see my screen? Comparative adjectives. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right, so here we have comparative adjectives um, is normally used if you want to compare two things, people, animals, or situations. When we compare using short words, one or two syllables, we add ER plus than at the end of the adjective. For example, he's taller than me, all right? Or my car is cheaper than your car. All right, so we add ER uh, to the short adjectives to make them comparatives. If an, uh, uh, sorry, if an adjective ends in one vowel, hold on guys, I cannot see this. If an adjective ends in one vowel plus a consonant, acuérdense que los vowels son A, E, I, O, U, and the consonant are the rest, we double the consonant and add ER. Eso también es importante cuando lo escribimos. For example, big, si usted se fija ahí tenemos vowel plus consonant. When we make the comparatives, we have to double the last consonant and then add ER. So big, bigger, hot, hotter, thin, thinner, but butter. If an adjective ends in a y, we change it to i and add e r. Happy, happier, funny, funnier, easy, easier, ugly, uglier. Fíjese, y ahí no dice more easy, ¿verdad? No quiero a nadie de este curso diciendo more easy. Eso no. All right, that's not possible. All right, then we have this one. Hold on. Oops. All right. Uh, when we compare two things or people using long words, three or more syllables, we add more plus the adjective plus that. Maria is more beautiful than Jennifer. This book is more interesting than that book. All right. Y luego tenemos aquí los irregular adjectives that we were talking about. Good becomes better. But is worse. Far is further. Little is less. And more is much. Okay. Yes. You say this is much. I don't know. Expense, much more expensive than the other one. All right. So we have those ones there. All right. A ver, ahí solitos, right sentence, no vamos a, no quiero que escriban la oración porque ya hicimos uno similar. Quiero que ponga nada más cómo lo, cómo lo escribiría comparando. Por ejemplo, interesting, va a poner more interesting o va a decir interestinger. ¿Cómo lo va a poner? Solo ponga el adjetivo no, no. nada más. A ver, luego pido quien me ayude ahí para cada uno. Les doy un par de minutitos. More interesting.
All right, let's see. Uh, Walter, interesting. How would be the uh, comparative adjective, uh, Walter? More interesting. More interesting, thank you. All right, Mariano, short? Shorter. Shorter, very good. All right, let's see. Uh, Victoria Maria, number three, four? No, teacher. Okay, that's okay. Joanna, do you have number three, four? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, no se preocupe. Um, Leti, do you have that one, Leticia? I don't know the answer, but fast year, fast year. Solo que no, okay, okay. No es fast, it's far, pero no, no hay problema. A ver, ¿quién tiene number three? Order. 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 Smaller. Very nice. All right. Um, Julio, good. What would it be, Julio? Excuse me, much. Um, seguro, el good, el comparative, the good, what sería? Better. Better, yes, better. Thank you. All right. Uh, Doris, high. Higher. Yes, higher. Very good, Johnny. Beautiful. More beautiful. Yes, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roberto, bad. Worse. Worse. Very nice. Okay, now this is better, right? That, that's not right. Okay. A esto que está acá, hold on. Can you please take a picture? Le toman foto y si pueden, mándelo al grupo para que ya lo tengan ahí y ya nos podemos ir a los grupos. All right. Please send it to the groups. ¿Qué van a hacer con estas imágenes? Based on the pictures that you have here, all right, eh, solo en la primera le estamos dando el adjetivo que queremos que usen, all right, en los demás no. So, I want you to make the whole sentence, all right, cada grupo puede pensar en un adjetivo diferente, all right, de, por ejemplo, en las cinco puede ser moderno, más caro, más elegante, más... Uh, no sé, all right, más eh, callado, all right, los otros grupos van a pensar diferentes sentences, all right, but I want you to use comparative adjectives based on the images, okay, yes, do you understand what you're going to do, yo no les estoy dando adjetivo aquí, usted lo va a pensar, solo en el primero hay uno, ese van a usar, en los demás, you come up with your own sentences and your own adjectives, okay, Let's go, guys. Creo que ya no sé si alguien lo mandó ya al grupo. ¿Lo tienen ahí ya? Yes, teacher. All right. Ok, thank you. Los mando. Vamos, regresamos a los mismos grupos. Thank you. ¿Qué lo hizo? A este no es culpa. A no ser este lulo.
Ay, ya, pero what happened? Tiene su micrófono apagadito, Eder. Creo que me quedé sin grupo. Por le... No, 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 no me cayó en la clase. No le cayó, vaya. A... Si gusta, lo voy a mover dos veces. La segunda vez ya se quedaría con Jorge y Julio, que eran con los que estaba trabajando anteriormente. ¿Ok? Ok, gracias. Le salió ahora, Eve. Me salía hacia la 1, pero no me. Ay, ahorita lo vuelvo a mover. No puedo acceder. De verdad, lo voy a mover a la 4. A ver si a, esa es la sala donde tendría que estar. Permítame. Mira. Okay. Hi, Vanessa. Hola, Vane. Hi, teacher. Sorry, but the light se van y se viene. I don't know how do you say that. Yeah, el tipo no, 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 no se preocupe. Vane, ¿en qué grupo estaba? En el one. Ah, ok. Con Debbie y con Miss Mar. Mm, yes. Okay, yes, ahora, yes, yes, yes. Ahorita la mano.
All right, guys, how was it? Did you finish? Yes? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we had more than enough time to finish. All right, now I'm just going to, oh, I'm just going to share the screen again. Hold on, guys. All right, here. All right, so here we have. What is number one? Roberto, tell me your sentence for number one. El suyo y de su grupo. A ver. Roberto, your microphone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, that's okay, um, that's okay. The card is better than bicycle if you want to go fast. To work. Oh, nice. Yes, it is. Very good. Thank you. That's a very well done sentence. Thank you. Okay. All right. Number two. Uh, let me see. Evan, what's your sentence for number two? For number two. Okay. Fruits are healthier than the fast food. Than the fast food. Yeah. Okay, so fruits are healthier, or fruit is healthier than fast food when you want to lose weight, for example. All right, very good, thank you. Um, Gabby, number three. Um, buy a computer is more expensive than buy a cell phone, iPhone. iPhone, uh, yes. I think it's right. Okay. Um, Gabi, I think your sentence would be better if you say to buy. To okay. buy, uh huh. To buy a computer is more expensive than buy to buy a cell phone. Yes. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Very thank good. You. Very nice. Let's see. Number four. Vamos ahí. Um, Vane, do you want to do number four? Yes, teacher. Number four. The life in the countryside is more specific than the city's life. Okay. All right. Very nice. Five. Let's see. What about um, Miss Matt? Number five. In a earthquake, it's more dangerous in a building than in a house. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is, Miss Mark. Thank you. All right. That's why I don't live in an apartment. Very good. Okay. That's nice. Thank you. Number six. Um, who wants to do number six? Volunteers to do number six? I prefer to yeah. visit with my family a mountain than a beach. Absolutely. Oh, okay, very good, yes, thank you. What about number seven? Johnny, can you do number seven for me? Okay, TikTok is more famous than Instagram. Okay, all right, very nice. Number eight, Mariano? Uh, okay, uh, tennis is more interesting than swimming. All right, okay, very nice. Linda, can you do the last one, number nine? Okay, work in the beach is funnier than work in the company. <laughs> yes, it is, Linda, yes, very nice. Okay, very good, okay, guys. super. I'm not, I don't know if you guys have any questions about the comparative adjectives or estamos bien con ese tema, yeah. Do you have any questions whatsoever? No? All right, perfect, very good, okay. Now for the rest of like the last 15 minutes, we're going to talk about something that it's called um, conjunction. So I'm gonna share this with you here again. All right, so here we have this. All right, conjunct, we're talking about conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, all right, or coordinating conjunctions, all right, or subordinating conjunctions. Now, 
what are conjunctions? Ahorita no nos metemos en más nada que coordinating conjunctions. Pero ¿qué son conjunctions? Do you know what conjunctions are? ¿Qué hacen ellos en una oración? What do they do? Unir. Join words. Yes, they join. Yes, very good. They join words or phrases. Okay. Depending on the type of coordinating conjunction that you need to use. Now, as is coordinating conjunctions, we know them as fun boys. All right. Why? Por como inician. All right. So here we have two, four, six, seven. The F it stands for the conjunction for. The A is for and. N is for nor. B is for but. O is for or. Y is for yet. And, oops, and S is for so. Okay, I'm gonna put this up here because I cannot see it. All right, so number one, the example number one says, the lady called for security team. Number two, Lara can both eat and speak. Neither Alex nor I drink. I want to cook, but there is no stuff. Is the dog alive or dead? We haven't finished our dinner yet. Whoever says so is a liar. All right, so here we have the famous coordinating conjunctions y las conocemos por fun boys, ¿ok? Eso es lo mismo que está en su manual, solo que obviamente de diferente forma, pero el significado es el mismo. Voy a dejar de compartir este ahorita. All right. So, let's go back to your book. Si usted tiene el manual, téngalo a la mano por ahí. All right. Here we have number um, page number 11, I will be able to write a 10 line restaurant review applying appropriate punctuation with coordinating conjunctions. Antes de lograr escribir este párrafo, tenemos que ver las coordinating conjunctions. All right. Now, igual como ya le mostré, we see them as fun boys. An adjective clause is also called a relative clause. All right, this is the extra information. For, vamos a ver, para qué usamos the conjunction for? Domingo, leame for, for, please. Uh, for employees, reason or for process, just like because. All right, so for explains reason or purpose. Para, thank you, Domingo. Para eso ocupamos the conjunction for, to explain reasons or purpose. ¿Sabemos qué es purpose? Propósito. Propósito. Propósito, yes. O sea, que es muy similar en significado a la palabra because. All right, number two. Manuel, and can you read the explanation for that one? Manuel? Uh, in a jet in a, in a close, and also called relative close, and as one thing to another. Very good, Manuel, thank you. And lo ocupamos para add one thing to another. Usted dice, me gusta la pizza y los tacos. I like pizza and tacos, all right? Daniel, can you continue with nor, please? Nor, present an alternative negative idea to on already presented negative one. Mm. Ok, entonces yo digo, ni usted ni yo entendimos la clase. All right, so I say, I, nor you or I understood the class, for example. Esto lo vamos a ir viendo más detenidamente, obviamente, mañana. All right, but, thank you. Miss Mark, can you read but, please? 
but uh, show contrast. Shows contrast, all right? Usted dice, I like, I don't know, or I dance, but not um, reggaeton, because that's not music for me, all right? So it shows contrast, thank you. All right, Carlita, or? Okay, or present and alternative or a choice. Excellent. Or present an alternative or a choice. Very good. Um, Vicky, can you read yet, please? Vicky, no está por ahí? All right, that's okay. Debbie, can you read um, yet? Yet. Introduce a contrasting idea that follow the preceding, preceding? preceding idea logically. Logically, all right, very good. Logical. Yes, thank you, Debbie, very nice. Introducing a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. Very good, thank you. All right, let's see here. Uh, maybe, Vane, can you please, um, Vanessa, can you read so? So, indicated effect, result, or consequence. Excellent. Indicates effect, result, or consequence. For example, I said if you don't, I mean, you don't, if you don't study so, you will fail the course. All right. That's a consequence. That's an effect. That is a result. All right. Now. Here it says punctuation. Esto es importante porque es diferente en español. All right, punctuation, all right, in English, when we have here eh, the sentence, y luego de la sentence tenemos a eh, eh, plus fun voice, and then we have another sentence. Por lo general, vamos a poner una coma por ahí. All right, y ya lo vamos a ir viendo detenidamente mañana about this punctuation. Si gusta, no haga hoy, solo por hoy, no haga todavía su tarea para que mañana ya esté con más conocimiento y ya la pueda hacer. All right, pero si usted gusta aventurarse y hacerla, no hay ningún problema. Acuérdese que la puede volver a hacer mañana si en caso salió como muy baja en la tarea o de repente no le quedaba claro algo. Usted puede explorar, eso no hay ningún problema y lo puede volver a hacer mañana si usted gusta. All right, antes de seguir y casi para terminar, do you understand the meaning of this conjunctions, fun boys, do you understand it? Or do you have any questions about them? No, estamos bien? Yes. Oh, yes. A ver, rapidito ahí, escoja cualquiera de esas, pero escoja la que usted dice, hey, esa nunca la había visto, o esa me cuesta, no la más fácil. All right, no me voy a escoger and your, porque esa ya la podemos usar desde un montón. All right, escoja oh. cualquier otra y escríbame una oración para irnos despidiendo. A ver, usando cualquiera de esas conjunctions. Do it now, please. Copila ahí en su cuaderno. Yes. <laughs> Teacher, yes, can you mm, lo siento, se le está cortando, no le entendí.
All right, veamos ahí. Volunteers, anybody that has any sentence? Me, teacher. Yes, Johnny. Uh, neither I study math nor I understand. <laughs> I like that sentence and it applies to me. Yes, very good, Johnny. Thank you. All right, another example. Any other? Yes, Evan. I am not a bilingual. I am learning yet. Tell me again. Okay, I am not a bilingual. I don't know that this word. I am learning yet. Okay, all right. I hear you. Very good. One more. One more para irnos despidiendo y tomamos asistencia. A ver. Maybe Linda or Manuel or Gaby, Debbie, Fanny, anybody. I, I don't um, like it. Tom. A ver, Linda y después Debbie. A ver, ajá, Linda. Okay, Maria does not miss a day of work, nor does she miss a day of school. Okay. All right. Okay. And Debbie, your sentence. Thank you, Linda. I don't like paper, 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 perdón. Paper, uh-huh. Eh, and nor does she. Ah. All right. En este caso sería neither does she, but that's okay. Vamos a, eso lo vamos okay. a ver mañana. All right. Very good. Thank okay. you. Tomo una asistencia rapidito y no sé si está Carlos por acá hoy. All right. Okay. Veamos. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel, thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present. Domingo Alexandra González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Present teacher. Brenda María López Lobo. Ana Yaminet Domínguez Palacios. César Augusto Cañegues Vázquez, Nelson Alfredo Alas Orantes, Sandra Mariela Ingres Rivera, Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining class today. I will see you tomorrow. All right. Have a wonderful night, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night to all. Good night.